Hi, everybody. Susan Gerbic. Psychics explained. So it's a nice rainy night. So let's watch some psychic medium John Benner, B E N N E R. I haven't seen this. So I was told to go to this spot on this video because I've been complaining a lot about lackluster uh, readings. It seems that I don't know if it's just me or what, but this is, it just feels like it's, there's nothing there. They're not even trying. It, it's pretty bad, but it must just be me because some of the videos I'm looking at are old. Um, this one is recorded yesterday. And so that'd be March 1st, 2024. And this is the John Benner psychic and he does live Facebook readings. And we have a playlist with John Benner if you want to check him out. And he's a very quiet um, speaker. He does it very slow. I show the video uncut because I want you to see it as the as close as you can to the person who's who's getting the reading. And from what I understand, the person who's getting the reading, her name is Lynn. Let's hope we can get these comments to show up correctly because I was fiddling with it, but I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what it says if I can't get these to work. So let's go check it out. Uh, remember, take notes. Put your comments in the um, below. Um, I really want to hear what you think as we go. I don't think we're going to go very long on this. I think this is only a few minutes long than what we're going to be listening to. And it has 590 comments as of this moment. And it has 734 views, which is interesting because there's usually so few people who watch this. At least watch it live. Let's put you again here. Apparently, somebody named Lynn is going to come into the chat. And... He's looking for a picture because he's supposed to be able to do, he can't do the reading unless he has a picture of somebody to look at. We don't get to see the photo. Ah. There's your mom. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. I see your mom walking in with a pep to her step. That makes sense. She seems to be very happy. And she wants to thank you for giving her another chance at connecting with her. Did you have any questions for her, Lynn?
She seems very happy right now. I see a lot of peace with her. I'm trying to get a message from her. But there's no message. Unless you have a question. She says that she already has. I feel that she's age nine, right around there in her next life. But remember, a part of her soul stays in the spirit world, and that's the part that we're communicated with right now. She says that you'll be with her again in this life. Not in this life, but the next. The one she's living now. Yes, in her new life. She says that you have a long way to go yet, though, in this one. <laughs> so not anytime soon. Well, she says many years. I can't give you a specific time. Even if I could, I can't tell you that. <laughs> it's about ethics. Um, Where is she? She's in the light. Or where is she in the new life? Let me see. Hmm. I feel that I feel, generally feel she's in Europe. But it's, I'm trying to figure. Because she's telling me Europe, but she says it feels like America. So whatever country that might be, I don't know. I've never been to Europe. And I don't study Europe, so. Um, hmm. But she's in the European area. She wants your sister to love herself, is what she says. She needs to love herself, take care of herself and love. She says to love yourself and take care of yourself.
and she feels very calm. And she loves her new parents, says her new parents are very nice to her. So it's a good life so far. So she's so she's at mother anymore. She's not your mother. She's still your mother. It just all depends on how you look at it. I mean, if you feel that way, then. Mm -mm. parents in her next life are pretty good from what she's saying. She probably didn't want to have that again. Or she's learned the lesson from it. Hmm. Yeah, she just says that she's in a European country that feels a lot like America, whichever one that might be. Um, I wouldn't know. Is your father reincarnated? Yes. It's, I feel that she's saying yes. Um, I feel that they will have a little meetup in that in this next lifetime, but they won't be together. A small meetup, though. Nine years old, yep. Yeah. She's nine years old right now. Okay, I can only stand so much of that. I'm ending it now. <laughs> All right, you guys. You have no idea. <laughs> The comments I get from people who tell me that the mediums they go to are the real deal and there's so much information they're getting and they feel so much better after they have the reading. It's so difficult to watch these and, and you're watching it to yourself and not understand how people can't see this. They can't see that he's just making up crap. All right. They, they just can't see it. I don't know if it's because they're grieving or because they've just been conditioned for so long that to believe that this is real. And I, I mean, the, 
<laughs> I don't even know what to say. So here's this guy. He says, um, your mom's been reincarnated. She's she's living in a country in Europe, but it's a lot like the United States, but she can't say where it is. And that someday, a long time from now, you will die and then you will go and hang out with your mom. But your mom right now is nine years old. She is still your mom. It's just her spirit because the other part's reincarnated, which, but she, her spirit is still there. And that's what he's communicating with. And that her, and that it's a long time from now before she, uh, Lynn dies and her mom can't tell her how long that'll be because ethics, he can't tell, he can't say, even if, even if Lynn's mom was to say when it is that Lynn's going to die, he, John Benner has ethics and he can't say, right. We don't know what Lynn's mom's name is. We don't know crap. We only know Lynn has a mom who has died because Lynn asked about her mom who had died. And Lynn asked if her father had been reincarnated. And John's response is, yeah. And uh, I feel like he, him and his wife are going to meet up for a brief one. And then that's it. They're going to be disconnected, which is kind of a disconcerting, you know, kind of remark, but whatever. So her mom's nine years old. I just, I just got the chills. This means diddly squat. And yet people are sitting here watching it. Well, you and I are watching this, right? But we're doing it for research purposes. I think it was like $11 reading, $12 reading, $22 reading. And he's there for 12 hours or more a week. Something like that. Monday, Wednesday, Friday for four hours or something like that. I I can't. <laughs> anyway. Comments, everybody, in the um, comment section under here. I really would. I, I love listening to you guys. I love your comments. I do everything I can to answer them. Um, very interesting. Uh, nothing's changed with this guy. We we watched him weeks ago. Um, remember, this is the dude who gave a reading to somebody named Carol, who said she was going to off herself, and he's just like, "Oh, don't do that." Until finally, somebody said, "I'm calling the cops," or somebody better call the cops. And he's like, "Oh my gosh, I'm going to call. I'm going to call." <laughs> that was this guy. And uh, that was weeks and weeks ago. And from what I understand, Carol still comes and shows up and gets readings from him. By the way, I have not had my first paycheck from, from YouTube, which is you have to make $100 first. <laughs> I think I'm at... Um, I think I was monetized in October. This is now February, March. It's already March. I might be $50. So there's no money in this. I put in tons of hours of work. And just in case anybody want to know, I think that's, I think it's interesting because whenever I was getting started in YouTube and I was thinking, hey, maybe I can make some money on this. And I, you know, you look at the videos and they're all like, oh yeah, I made a thousand dollars my first month. And you're like, wow, <laughs> that's a lot of milk duds. <laughs> There's no money in this, you guys, at least not, not in um, mediumship and not for Susan Gerbic. So I really appreciate, I appreciate you guys hanging around because otherwise I'd just be talking to myself and the chicken and the cat. And it's much more interesting to have you guys here. So take care.